Were you a good student? In music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the other classes, I was beating on the tables, getting on the, beating on the desk and getting on my teacher's nerves. Mm -hmm. I was probably a headache and a class clown and loved attention, awkward. You know, I had my little flat top, you know, because that's what everybody got because Big Daddy Kane was like the king at the time. But at the same time, so was Tony Hawk for me. Yeah. And so was Kristen Hussoy and Steve Caballero. All those skaters were like deities to me. Mm -hmm. So they used to come to Mount Trashmore and I used to wear like slip on checkerboard vans <laughs> at that time. So I was like into hip hop, you know, listening to Dougie Fresh and, and Slick Rick you know, hence the gold chains, and idolizing Christa, Christian Hussoy at the same time. But I, that was the average black child in, in, sub, in suburbia America. But before we moved there in the, in the hood part, they didn't understand that. So mm -hmm. that's where you know, sometimes you hear the word like Oreo. Yeah. You know, you're black on the outside, but white on the middle. Like, you hear things like that, but like, it only made me stronger. I discovered skateboarding when I moved to the suburbs and all my white friends were like skateboarding mm -hmm. and they accepted me, you know. Just wasn't, it wasn't racist like that, it just wasn't. I mean, mm -hmm. they listened to EPMD just like I did. They listened to Eric B and Rakim just like I did, you know. Except they were dropping in in the ramp and showing me how to ollie and kickflip and that was just what it was. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you that they're like, some of my black friends didn't get it, and I'm not telling you that some of my white friends didn't understand them either. I'm not telling you that. I'm just telling you there were more of us that understood cultural melting pot mentality than, mm -hmm. there, were, than there weren't. There were definitely people that were like, okay, you're on another planet and you're living in a different decade. Like, Kristen Hassoy is the coolest thing ever. And by the way, you should see this poster I just got of Rakim with this new gold chain. It's like crazy, <laughs> you know. And these were the conversations that me and my buddies, you know, Eric right. Paul and, and Tim and like, these, these were my buddies and this is the way we looked at life. You know, mm -hmm. we saw life in a colorless way. Mm -hmm. So, and the one thing that, that connected us, music. It was the one thing that just kind of like transcended like what our parents didn't understand, but what we totally got, we just, it was just happening right there. Mm -hmm.